five kids who changed the world. Explained by Aditi Karthik. Number one, Ryan Hickman. When Ryan Hickman was three, he took a visit to the Replanet Recycling Center in California. Here, he found his calling. At the age of seven, Ryan founded his company, Ryan's Recycling. What started out as collecting cans and bottles from his neighbors as recycling has risen to over 50 customers and over 200,000 bottles and cans. It's because bottles get to the ocean and then animals get sick and die, he told CNN. Number two, Samantha Smith. Proof that the words of a child can make a huge impact, Samantha was only 10 when she eased Cold War tensions between the United States and Russia with a single letter. This letter contained valuable words suggesting that both countries could exist peacefully, which ended up getting published in the newspaper. Number three, Claudette Colvin. Claudette was 15 when she became a major player in the civil rights movement by refusing to give up her bus seat to a white rider. You might have heard this story before. Yes, it's the same story as Rosa Parks. But this young girl did the same thing nine months ago and did not get enough respect or fame as Rosa Parks. Remember, you can do anything at any time, at any age. I feel very, very proud of what I did. I do feel like what I did was a spark and it caught on, she quotes. Here are some present pictures of Claudette Colvin. Number four, Nicholas Lewinger. Here's a little story for you to hear. When Nicholas was a tween, he met a brother and sister experiencing homelessness. The pair took turns going to school because they shared a pair of shoes. Nicholas gave the boy a pair of basketball sneakers and started an organization called Gotta Have So through which footwear has been donated to over 99,000 children in homeless shelters. Number five, Louis Braley. You might have heard this name. This is because Louis is the one who invented Braille. We usually think of Louis as an adult, but really, he achieved as a kid. Louis was only 12 when he learned a communication system used by the French army, which laid the groundwork for his own system of reading and writing used by the blind. He completed his alphabet of raised dots by the time he was 15. Thank you for watching. That brings us to the end, folks. I hope you found this video inspiring and helpful. Thanks again, and bye.